so I've got an F-18 that's trying to follow me right now. I'm going to throttle down to a speed that he cannot follow me at. 170. If you're just gonna follow me in game, this is the sort of uh, the sort of shenanigans I will put you up to. Let's see if he can hold. This is his landing speed. There is no way that he. <laughs> What are you doing, bud? You having fun back there? Let's do what? Dude, the AOA this man is pulling to be able to keep up with an A-10. I'm a terrible sim pilot. After two years, I still somehow managed to get into flat spins with a modern fighter jet, slam my wing against the ground while evading missiles, and forget to turn my master arm on all the time. But the A-10C does a lot of stuff behind the scenes to help even a piss poor pilot become a dead accurate killing machine. GPS guided bombs that tell you when to pull the trigger, a targeting pod to help you spot a single man with a stinger missile at 30 miles, or my favorite feature of this feral hog, basically everything surrounding the gun. The Gao 8 Avenger is a 30mm Gatling gun of goodness, capable of firing up to 3,900 rounds per minute at 3,300 feet per second. The gun is just under one-sixth of the entire aircraft's dry weight, and when removed from the aircraft, you have to put a jack stand behind the A-10 because the rear will start to fall backwards towards the ground from the lack of weight in the front. And when aiming an aircraft to hit a target on the ground with a cannon, it's difficult to get a crosshair dead on target, and especially difficult to stay there when firing. So the A-10 has a system called Gun Pack or Precision Attitude Control. This little feature allows you to sway the crosshair over a target like a controller user without aim assist, then simply squeeze on the first stage of your trigger to hard lock the A-10 onto the target. Gun Pack then adjusts your pitch, your roll, your yaw to help mitigate any recoil of a giant 30 millimeter cannon on the front of your plane. And believe it or not, in the development of the A-10, it was discovered that the oxygen siphoned air from the gun going burnt was going straight into the intake. The engineers tried hundreds of different fixes, longer barrel, muzzle devices, and my favorite, this sad, long face A-10. It looks like this obscure family dog cartoon I watched once when I was little. Their dog's not a winner, is it, honey? Of course not. Good luck. Bye-bye. And they eventually just wired up the engine igniters to run in full auto mode whenever the gun fired, so if the engine happened to inhale some carbon dioxide and not enough oxygen, it might just restart right where it left off after the burst was done. Pretty neat. Anywho, in today's video, I've got two fun sorties for you. The first one actually covers some anti sam site action with the AGM-65 Mavericks, and the second one at this time code or in the chapter, you can scroll to see it on the video, has more, many more bursts and bombs if that's your liking. Also, thank you so much for 1.6 million subscribers. That's absolutely insane. I don't know where you're all coming from. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Oh, look at that. How cool. We've got a three ship of froggies. Heck yeah. Go, third froggy, go. Go, third froggy, go. These guys are gonna be shredding whatever SAM sites they come across. You get three frog foots up in the air, you can uh, you can do some work on some SAM sites with that. I think they're carrying the uh, anti-radiation missiles as well, so they're they're set up and ready to go. All right, let's find what objective we can do. Let me get us on our left-hand turn on a path autopilot on a semi countermeasure system program, and get us flying. Roughly one, two, zero. One, two, all right. All right, so a lot of the HNC2's work is done through the lightning pod, which is just over there. That's it, it can uh, it can look around a little bit. You can see me turning it, looking around. I can zoom in on things. I can go thermal, white hot, black hot, all that sort of stuff. It's a pretty cool system. I can use the lightning pod to designate a target for, because it's really high definition camera, it's a super, super high zoom, super high definition thermal camera. I can use it to send a message of where the Mavericks should look, and then I can fire Mavericks from a from a target that I or at a target that I designated with the lightning pod. Are you 
Super cool. Yep, so like two C two T seventy twos there. What's that? Some sort of Shoka or Tunguska. And another tank way up that way. Okay. Whoa. And someone's popping flares. Yep. Gosh, those flares are so bright on the thermal. That's funny. Oh, good shack. Ooh, very nice. He uh he did a few shots there with the Mavericks. Okay, we got some BMD, some sort of Tunguska. I always forget the names of which one that is. Is that the Shilka or Tunguska? I don't know. It's one of them. It's a thing. It's engine's hot, so we should be able to get a Maverick on it pretty easily. And I am going to put a speed right there. Our Maverick should be loaded now. We can slew that to where we're looking. Zoom it in. Can't see it quite yet, but we're uh, still 18 miles out. 13 miles. Missile launch on the front. Yep. A-10 shooting. I don't see any enemies replying with missiles. He took a really evasive maneuver after that shot. Switch my channel up to five three. Okay. I don't know what he shot at right then. I'm gonna go in for a pretty quick run though. Whatever he hits, it should splash before I shoot. Okay, getting within range now. I can still see the two. Okay, I'm starting to see the engine now of that BMD. I think that's a BMD. It's a little tiny thing. I, I've seen them in the the uh, Ukrainian war right now. I've seen I saw them being used at the very beginning of it. I don't know what their purpose is. I wonder if they were made before the BMP. Something like that. Okay, yeah, he shot at something else. All right, we've got the lock. That's a missile from the front. Okay, that's intercepts from that Shilka. All right, we're gonna shoot. Six miles. Okay, rifle one times. And I'm gonna hold this one just for a second. So it's going really fast because they're gonna try to intercept it. Wait, five miles. Make sure this one's going really quick. Okay, rifle times two. Oh, they shot the other uh, A10 down. Crap. Other A10 man's dead. I saw his black smoke. Yep, now they're shooting at me. I am dodging that, thank you. Don't want any part in that. Oh wow, that missile was right above me. I barely dodged that. I didn't even know. There might be something else here maybe. I don't know. Because if that missile was able to reach like that, I don't know, maybe it just didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of smoke from the propellant. Okay, I think I hit the target. I saw a new splash there. A new smoke cloud. Looked more like dust kicked up from the ground. Rotate around. I'm getting nails from MiG-29s and a SA-19 on the rear left. Yeah, the- oh, clouds. Yeah, the whole scope's looking clear right now. Still getting tons of 29 nails off to my front right, so we might have some flankers inbound, which is not good. What's that? What's that? I see it. I see it. I see you, little sensor boy. All right. Slave the Maverick over to it. Lock it up. Did we get the lock? Rifle. Whee! Yeah, I'm going to ask Overlord what's going on. One, three, six. Okie dokie. Overlord, Draco 1 1, set tripwire 15. Draco 1 1, Overlord, copy. Warning 15 nautical miles. Warning 15 nautical miles. 
I'm gonna do a altitude hold. Just altitude. So that we'll have a good little circle to work with here. Mayhem 1-1, one one. Overlord, copy. Warning 40 nautical miles. Oh, there's some things. So I'm picking those up on visual, but on thermal, they're almost invisible. Jeez, okay. Let's go in and hit that. Yeah, sometimes you have to go off thermal because the ground is so kind of dotted with weird colors, weird temperatures. Rifle on that. And there was something else there too, off to its left. Was it that there? Maybe it's that, that, rifle. Yeah, there was something else there. Oop, missile in the front. I'm gonna act like that's a stinger. Nope, we're clear. Whew. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, okay. I thought he I thought he was taking a missile. He did. He almost took a missile. Dang. <gasps> Shit. Pull up, pull up. Wow. That was uh lucky that I checked that direction. Where was that? That was over there somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna open up and look at that area now. That was close. Oh my gosh. That was so close. Draco 1-1. One, one. Draco 1-1 one, one on 3-0. Uh, Draco 1-1 on 2. I'm in the same AO, AO with you. I just ran out of Mavericks and there's so many uh, SAM sites over there. I'm gonna rearm uh, for six times. Uh, Red Bull, and then I'll, uh, Damn it. Draco. Okay, he was just telling me he's got to go. He's out of Mavs. I'm looking for the same... Same... Oh! Ooh, yep! Shit, where? Behind? Okay, that's friendly. Yeah, I see you. Look at him looking at me. Oh! Oh, jeez. That's scary, man. Oh wait, not soy. Draco 71, are you frequency? Draco 130. People calling me right now. <sighs> okay, we're out of Mavericks. We killed it. Killed that one. Dude, there's so much there. Oh man. I don't. Th I think I'm just gonna have to get more Mavericks. I don't think there's another way that I can handle all that. Um. Yeah, those are multiple tanks, I think. Yeah, multiple tanks. We would have to GPU. We, we'd have to, uh, not GPU. <laughs> we'd have to go really high and try to loft some bombs. But I don't think that's gonna work. I think I'm also gonna go cold to rearm Mavericks because this is insanity. Triple A wise. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go home. We still got 250 flares. We're, we're all right. Oh, there's a crazy side wind too. There is a crazy side wind. Oh man, I can feel it. Oh yeah, look at the nose. Mayhem one one threat bra zero four five forty fifteen thousand beam northwest proxy. North traffic. Whew, okay. The A-10, to be fair, is just such a stable plane. It You can land it at such a range of speeds, and it doesn't care. You, I think you can probably land as slow as 120 knots, up to probably 140, if you really wanted to. 
but like that range is so much bigger than like the F-18 landing or F-16 especially. F-16 really likes to land fast. MiG-21 Biz, that thing lands like a pencil. There is no lift on that bird at all. You are a flying rocket. Okie dokie. Whew, that was fun. Well, well, well. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna quote the uh, Battlefield 2042 guy. Well, well, well. That was fun. After the end of a, of a post-apocalyptic battle for mankind. Well, 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 that was fun. Or what does the wingsuit lady say again? She says, uh, she's like, was that it? She says something really cocky like that. And it's so funny. Y you just really wonder, like, I don't know. I like, I, I, these games are war games. You know, they're about war, which is a terrible thing. And I really like when Mayhem war one games. I like when war games take themselves seriously. Because war is war. War is bad. Yeah, because these games are naturally supposed to... Like, like Battlefield 1, for example. Battlefield 1 is a beautiful indication of just how, like, brutal World War 1 was. And the campaign has an okay, you know, way of showing that. Um, but the, the gameplay itself is brutal. You hit people with shovels. You're smacking down lines of dudes with a bolt-action rifle with your hands and rifle covered in snow and mud. For, for Battlefield to go from that to, you know, a fictional, uh, post-apocalyptic, futuristic scenario, it's just kind of silly. Gosh, look at that hunk of... Hunk. Just, just, look at that hunk. I'm not even going to say any other words. Just hunk. Oh my gosh. The wind. There's been a lot of people working on this objective for a few minutes, though, so I think the Sams have calmed down. Maybe. Oh, yep. There's something there. I see you. Gonna get that with a Maverick. Yeah, I see you, buddy. Little stinker. What do you think you're doing? Hiding? One time my uh, sister and I were sneaking up on a Boy Scout camp when we were little. And uh, it was near our property. We sneak up on it and prank the Boy Scouts all the time. And one time, one of the Boy Scout leaders spotted us because we were dumb and we were silhouetting against the night sky and he goes uh he screamed at us both he <laughs> he goes what y'all think y'all are doing up there y'all think y'all are hiding and my sister Allie froze and uh <laughs> i was like Allie, we gotta run and Allie was just frozen in fear like she thought we were gonna be killed and i was like just run <laughs> and uh so we ran across this field. We sprinted as fast as we could. Sprinted across this field. It's like 10 p.m. Allie had a flashlight in her pocket. She lost her flashlight. We had to go back out there the next day. We found it. It was pretty funny. We, um... <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I can be monetized if I tell the stories. We would, uh... Oh, there's something there. We had airsoft guns. And uh, we would shoot... Um, canoes next to the Boy Scouts and we would also shoot their tents as they were sleeping <laughs> and one Boy Scout was like yelling like someone's poking my tent someone's pranking me and the counselors would come walking over and they'd be like "No, nobody's messing with you dude like we can see your tent nobody's poking your tent and he's like but somebody's poking my tent and we're just sitting out there giggling in the trees. We, we were, we took it so seriously. We wore ghillie suits. We had uh, hides that we built throughout the day so that we'd be camouflaged at night. Dude, it was, an, it, was a, it was a special operations mission for us. Mission destroy Boy Scouts sanity. We'd make like scary goat calls in the middle of the night, like scary noises and you know the inhale scream you can do? I don't know, some people can do like the inhale scream. We used to do that in the middle of the night, like 2 a.m. That was a good one. Not that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never really told that story on the YouTube. I've told it on Twitch, on the Twitch stream, so follow the Twitch streams if you haven't. can't see anything else though yeah we would uh we kept shooting this one kid's tent and he kept yelling at the counselors saying someone's messing with me 
And the counselors didn't believe him, so they were yelling at the kid. <laughs> they were like, shut up, you're fine. Nothing's happening. And he's like, someone's poking my tits, someone's throwing stuff in my tit. We were, th we were shooting BBs like 90 yards with an airsoft gun. By the time it reaches the tin, it's probably going 50 FPS. It's, it's just so slow. <laughs> airsoft BBs. They wouldn't pin the tin. They wouldn't hurt anybody. It is, uh, it's pretty funny. Whoa, did I just see a, uh... Oh, nope, I thought I saw a missile. Never mind. Draco, one, one, ah. Okay. 15,000, he's above me quite a bit. Is there anything here, buddy? He's not getting shot at by anything. Oh shoot. I see that frog. Shit. I think the flanker just fired on me. Nope. Someone fired on something, though. Pull up. Pull up. Mayhem 1-1. One, one. Threat. Bra. Zero, two, there we go again. <gasps> whoa. What the whoa. Man, that came right on top of me. Oh my gosh. This guy's flying higher. And closer towards them. Oh yeah, now he knows. Now he knows. Holy crap. I can't believe he didn't get shot first. I was like notching. Yep, there he goes. Can't beat the flankers missiles, man. Oh man, we both just got destroyed. Not enough cap in the skies right now, I guess. Well, someone is taxing the wrong way. Uh, some guy in a hornet? Which way is the wind coming in? I think... You know what? Maybe you're right. No, he is right. Everybody else is just lazy. Yep. Runway 04 is the correct uh, active on Anapa right now. Yeah, my bad. Uh, I don't know. I guess I believed everyone. You're good. It's Hoggett. <laughs> as long as we take our turns taking off on the runways. Precisely. Anapa traffic, Reba 1 1, taking incorrect runway to yeah, let's see what else is there. I think this is a strike, but it could be a SAM? No, that's definitely a strike. Okay. Triple A gun truck. There's a dude. Nope. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, buddy. I'm gonna put a mark point on you so that I know exactly where you live. That's a man with a stinger missile. Those are the most dangerous things on this entire server. Just a single man with a stinger. Highly dangerous. Very scary. I don't like them. That's a tree. Also very dangerous. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it, though. I'm gonna hit the Strella first, I think. And then I'm gonna try to get the AAA trucks with... We're gonna try it with gun. You know? Feeling a little cheeky. Come on, Maverick. Get the lock. We're getting closer. <laughs> the man pad. Oh, there we go. There's the lock. All right, rifle. Overlord, one, two, set trip wire, 10 miles. Okay, that thing right below it is not the AAA. I don't want to lock on that. I want to lock on that. Okay. Altitude, altitude. 
want to make sure I don't approach this uh, northern objective too quickly. And I want to spot that triple A, um, or I want to spot the stinger guy, the man pad. Uh, I didn't send the missile on the man pad, no. I sent it on the Strela and a AAA truck. I don't know if I can lock on to a single man pad with a, with a Maverick. I would have to do, like, a picture lock, which I forgot how to do that. It's a bit more complex. Oh, he raised his missiles, though. Shack 1, Shack 2. Do we get it? Is there fire? I don't see fire. Oh, yep. Yep, we got it. Cool. Um, let's lessen the circle a little bit. I need to get a pod right there. Perfect. Okay. This is like the flastest, the flastest, fastest flying image I've ever seen. There's an SA-6 firing over there. Past our objective. That's spooky. Okay, there's the guy. There he is. That little bugger. There he is. Get the spee on him. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what I'm going to hit him with. I'm going to try. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. What do we hit him with? Do we hit him with a three mile gunshot? I mean, we could. We got a point lock on the guy. Oh my gosh. Pure freedom. All right. I'm gonna do like a three mile gunshot. Three mile gunshot approved. <laughs> some altitude really quick so I can dive down on him. All right, here we go. Okay, I shot all the HEs his way. Oh, it threw off the point track. He's aiming. Oh. Pull up, pull up. Oh, it it popped right beside him. I think he's dead. He's dead, boys. We got him. <laughs> uh, all right, we're good. We're good. Oh, shit. No, not good. Woo. That man got toasted. All right, I'm going to do a little weasel, make sure there's no other man pads. I don't think there's going to be. I think it's just AAA now. Which is still dangerous. But we're looking okay. Okay, yep, AAA. AAA, yep. AAA, okay. Cool, cool. I think we've got no man pads. I think we can go in guns on everything now. What is that? Is that a... Uh, that's an arty truck. I want to focus on the AAA first. There's something there. Yep, triple A. Okay. Gonna go guns on that. Yeah, this is a 30 mil cannon. I think um, it's five rounds of AP and then one round of HE is what the combat mix is that I'm using right now. It's the standard combat mix. Wait, what did I... Okay. Boop. I'm gonna shoot at 1.5. Oh, there they go. Woo! We almost got hit by the left AAA truck right there. Altitude, altitude. Still shooting at us. Okay, where are you? You're invisible. I can't see you. Oh, you're off that way. Okay. Boop. I think we're still good on on enemy air right now, so we're quite lucky not have to be worrying about that on this server because sometimes at this time of night there's not enough uh, people on to really like protect you that well dude that guy is looking at us look at him he is he is just tracking us dead on duel of the fates needs to play right now as I go in for this run
Got him. <laughs> I was gonna wait and see if I got him there. Yep. Boop. Look at the others. They're bouncing around. I think they re uh, ricocheted off the ground and then they're landing there. It's kind of neat. There's something there. I think another AAA truck of some sort. Wait, what the? Where'd it go? Yep, there it is. You know, let's try to hit that guy with a bomb. Let's change it up. Do a GPS guided bomb. On that truck. Oh, let's do a. Yeah, let's do an inner wing one. Or no, that's outer wing. Let's do inner wing. Actually, wait, that doesn't make sense. Outer wing first. I'm, I'm silly goose. Okay, he's shooting at us, and pickle, one times. Pull up, pull up. That should land in, yeah, five, four, three, two, one. It's gonna land right in front of him, but still should get him. Come on, boo, he's dead. Rest of peace. Aten's so crazy, you could just select the bomb just like that. Lines up everything for you. Very convenient bird. Does a lot of computing behind the scenes to make your bomb strikes hit accurately. Is that thing alive? I don't know. I'm going to hit it again for fun. All right. And I think that might be it for this objective. I think we cleared it out. Let me see. Nope, it's still up. Let me scan around. There might be like one arty truck still alive somewhere. I think everything threatening those dead. Uh, do an autopilot. Okay, that's still up. Yep, that's probably like the last thing. Uh, nails from I think twenty nine. What the heck? Oh, I think it just counted as destroyed. Yep, everything's gone. Okay. So we cleared the objective, so it deleted the last thing. Because sometimes the last thing is glitched, or it's in a tree, or in a rock, or something. So they have a program where it just deletes everything. Alright. Let's see what else we can go get. Yep, magic. Okay, we can go northwest to there. Let me uh, go straight north and get a autopilot set up. So I don't hit anything. This is a... Okay, altitude autopilot. Perfect. Just head north, roughly. Krasno Armeniskaya. Okay, let's get a mark there. About right there. Man, I still don't understand this. I still don't understand how to place a SPI sometimes. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> uh. Oh, got it. Okay. Right long. Okie dokie. Alright, we're going to go Mavericks first because I don't know what's there. I think it's two different objectives too, so it's going to be a little bit more than what we were just fighting. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, gun trucks, Strella, right off the bat. Oh, that's not. Ooh, that's a big one. He's a chonker. Let me uh. Yeah, let's hit him first. We're eight miles. Come on, Maverick, look forwards. What the? What are you doing, Maverick? Oh no! Did I get gimbal rolled? Damn it, I got gimbal rolled. Why did that set the speed weird? What is the Maverick doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't know what the Ma- Oh gosh. We're gonna die because of Maverick. Okay, I'm pulling off. Nope, I did something funny. Pull up, pull up. 
Oh, wait, what the heck? Where the where? What? what why'd you go that way? <laughs> you went to Krasnodar. Oh, I don't want you to go. Kra I want you to go here. Not to Krasnodar. Okay, set autopilot. We're gonna figure this out. I want you to go to this mark point over this way. Yep, right there. Right there. Perfect. Okay. That's what I wanted you to do before. I don't know why you flew off. It's just like Top Gun 2. It is the same game. This is how they did it in the movie. They argued with their software. Oh, that's a missile. Okay, yeah, I'm too close. I'm four miles. Okay, yep, I get it. Multiple missile launches. That's fun. Yep. They don't like me. Okay, let's mess up that guy's day in particular. Let's get that one. He's looking at me funny. Okay. Okay, slew. Come on, Maverick. Do the thing. Slew to the speed. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. Get him, Maverick. Go. Oh, they're shooting. Okay, that should hit pretty soon. Six seconds. <clears throat> oh, we get clouded by the by the body. The pods on the right wing. Overlord, magnet okay, we got it. All right, and uh oh. Bra, one I am trying to shoot this. I have Mavericks on board. That's weird. It's pressing and holding the weapon release, and it was not releasing. Maybe I don't know what just happened. That was weird. It had the lock. Master is on. Ooh, that's a twenty-nine from the right. Okay. Yeah, I think we're taking a missile from a aircraft right now. Just gonna be popping lots of chaff. Trying to notch it best we can. If that's at us, I don't know. Whoa, yep, it was. Holy crap. Just went right behind us. Two missiles went right behind us. Whoo. Okay. Stinky 1 1, merge 135, 14,000, Fulcrum. Except, oh, yep, I see him. Not the sun. Hopefully my weapon release works now, because it wasn't working for the Maverick. That's still really far. Damn it, my trigger's not working. What? Why? Master arm is on! What? Why is my trigger not working? Why are you... Weapon release! Weapon release is working here! What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Damn it! Can I shoot my gun? Am I 
I'm missing Thank something. One, one, check landing gear. Landing gear? What? What? <laughs> when did I throw up my landing gear? <laughs> what? When did my land? Oh God, no. Thank you. Oh, damn it, dude. Landing gear. I dropped my landing gear win. When did I drop my landing gear, dude? Oh, what a. F <laughs> I must have done it between the Maverick shot and the last Maverick shot that I attempted. That's funny.